guys welcome back to another video so in today's video it is going to be a makeup tutorial I have posted this picture I will post it here of an eye look that I really fell in love with that I did a couple of weeks ago and I posted a poll if you guys wanted me to do a tutorial on this and most of you guys did so the day is finally here and I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful green sparkly eye look so if you're interested in that please keep watching along and if you're not I will see you guys next month so as you can see I have already done my base because my face was really starting to break out and I didn't feel comfortable coming on camera with a little bit of my rash and everything so I did my concealer and foundation a little bit of powder so I'm just going to finish up my face while I'm talking to you guys and then we will start with the eye look so I'm going in just with the butter bronzer a little bit on the forehead just to give my face some dimension right now because it was looking pretty ghostly So I know it's a very weird time for Halloween with the whole COVID and we're not sure if Halloween's going to happen or not. I'm curious to see what you guys are going to come up with with looks so you can always message me on my Instagram. I will tag it down below and you can show me your types of looks that you want to do. I'm not overly sure what I'm doing for my Halloween look yet either. So I got this blush a while ago and it's a little compact from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it has these three beautiful colors but I haven't used it yet and I'm not sure why. I just never geared towards it yet. I think I'm going to go in with this more beige one for today. My cheeks are already pretty red so it's hard to like find a nice blush for me that I find complements my skin tone while still having a little bit of red. Overall, I think it's actually not too, too bad. I kind of like it, but I'm not sure if I find it too intense yet, so I'm just going to keep it at that. And now for highlight, I have this one that I got in an Ipsy box. It's the Realer Confidence in My Glow Highlighter. So it is this like beautiful darker, it's not really picking up, this beautiful darker goldish type of shade. So I'm going to apply that and hopefully it'll give like a nice glow. It shows, but not a lot. I find it to be very subtle compared to like a lot of the highlighters that I normally do gear towards. So now I'm just going to apply the Sweet Mouth Gloss from Fenty Beauty and then we will get to our eyes. Alright, so now for the tutorial you guys have actually been waiting for now that I have my face completely done. I'm first going to prime my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. Same as usual, I have not found a primer that I like more than this one so far. And I think the reason why I do like this one a lot more is because it really has that nice white base. So it looks very clean and it helps make the colors pop a little bit more and show a bit more pigmented. So now that we have the lids all nice and primed, I only use one palette for this makeup look. It is the Norvina ABH Collection. This is the Volume 2 palette. It is this absolutely stunning palette. And I use the three green shades within this palette, but the rest of the colors are just super stunning. And I just think it's like absolutely gorgeous. So for this first step, I take this dark green emerald shade and I apply it in the crease zone. And I'm just going super softly while blending it in. I don't want to add too much color in the beginning because if you do then it will be like a super rough blend out so you always just want to apply a little bit of color 
blend. If you see that there's not much pigmentation, you can go and add a little bit more and just keep blending. And that's how you'll really get like a really nice soft finish. And now I'm just gonna take that shade and you put it on your outer crease and you form the shape that you want. And once again, we're just keeping that blending super, super soft. So now I'm gonna go do the exact same thing on the other eye. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this to you guys, but if I have not, this is going to be a trick that is going to help you so much. When you are doing your eye makeup, you always wanna start with the eye that you are the least comfortable with because once you have your general shape and you're happy with what it's going to look like, it'll be so much easier for you to match your better eye to the one that you did that you feel less comfortable with than to start with your good eye and try to match your bad eye with your most comfortable. So that's a little trick. So now that we have this general color, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever 218 brush so it's a little bit denser and I'm just going to apply that really in the crease once again because I want to just deepen it up that much more. So you see how that already adds so much more dimension than in this eye by just taking a little bit more of a denser brush and applying it more directly in the crease. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing to my other eye. And now once I'm happy with the general shape and the pigmentation of the color, I'm going to go in with a bit of a fluffier brush. So I'm using the JS5 brush and I'm going to take the lighter green shade right in the middle and I'm just going to layer that on top right here. And then you just want to go in windshield wiper motions and buff in the two colors together and I will give you a nice soft blend. So now this is what it looks like. If you really wanted to make the look even more crisp, you can go in and do your half cut crease, but I'm going to fake the half cut crease. So I'm just going to take a flat packer brush and use that same middle green shade and just go and pat it on the rest of the eyelid. So it's faking the illusion that I have a half cut crease without actually doing it. And the reason why I'm leaving it kind of messier is because I'm going to layer the green sparkles on top of this lighter green shade so it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. And now just to blend those two colors together, I'm going to go in with that same brush and the darker green shade and just blend them. So now that we are looking a little bit scary and crazy, I'm going to go in with my NYX Glitter Glue, which is my all-time favorite, as you guys know, and I'm just going to apply that on the light green portion of the eye. And then I'm going to pick up this lighter green sparkly shade with my finger and just pat that all over the lid. So that just creates that super nice kind of sparkly green look and then I just go back in with that same dark green and I just blend in everything, make sure that everything is seamless. And I'm not sure if I have mentioned this or not, but when I do glitters, I love to put glitters on with my finger rather than with a brush because you get so much more pigmentation with your finger. When you put on with your brush, it goes very, very light. So this way you're kind of saving your product and you get so much more pigment out of it. Oh, 
Like those glitters are fantastic. It literally took one sweep and you already have full coverage. So I'm gonna go back in with that dark green shade. And just to really finish off the green, I go in with a little bit of a dense brush and I bring that dark green shade underneath. And then I'll grab, I'll do the same thing on the other side, and I'll grab a little bit of that lighter green. And then I'll just blend that in the middle and bring it to our sparkles. So because we are going to be putting on fake lashes, I'm just going to take my Hank and Henry black liquid liner and just do the smallest line to give a base for our fake lashes. And this is just to help them blend in. So now once we have our thin line of liner, I'm going to go in with my small MAC eyelash curler and just curl the ends. So now I'm just going in with the MAC mascara. I will pop some false lashes on off camera and then I will come back to say my final thoughts. So this is the final look with the lashes on. I just think it's a super cute look. I love green tones because it kind of goes with my eyes. So it's kind of been one of my go-to looks lately and it's just, it's super summery and it just, wear at Christmas because it's green why not so if you guys did enjoy this video and you would like more simple eye look tutorials please let me know in the comment section down below don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't done so already and thank you guys who keep coming back and being patient with me now that I am filming only once a month but I'm so happy to be doing so and I wish I could have more time to do more but unfortunately with my scheduling I cannot so Thank you guys for staying with me even though it's down to once a month and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!